Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our next 10 days of readings. How is everyone? I've been in my A for a little bit, work has been insane. And I finally have the time and the energy to sit down and do some readings, so here we are. I hope you're all doing well. You always have readings on the channel to check out, even if I'm not posting for a week, okay? Because all my readings are timeless, so just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with a Cancer. But always remember, take what resonates, disregard the rest, don't force anything to fit. These are very general readings. For private readings, the information is in the description box below. I'm almost up to date with them. I only have a couple to get out, so that would be a good time to order one if you wanted to. Because I can potentially get it done a lot faster than the usual wait time. And as always, like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much if you have. It helps the channel grow. I really appreciate it. It helps other people find me. It's absolutely free. It's an opportunity for you to show gratitude, should you want to. So thank you all for your wonderful support. All right, let's jump in here. See what's going on for Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the next 7 to 10 days from whenever it is that you're watching this video for Cancer. Okay, here we go. What do we got going on? The Hangman. I heard Pisces as I was shuffling and I thought, no, I just did Pisces and I'm not, I'm getting myself confused. But I think for some of you are dealing with the Pisces or you have Pisces in your chart heavily. Or you need to watch the Pisces reading. Okay, there we go. Hangman, Seven of Cups. Page of Cups, Justice in the Foundation, Death Card in the Past, Near Future, the Five of Cups, How You See Yourself, the Four of Wands, In Your Environment, the Page of Pentacles, Hopes and Fears, we have Temperance, and in the Outcome, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. I'm getting a very specific message, so like I said, it's very specific, don't take it if it makes no sense to you, but... For those of you that have recently experienced a miscarriage, my heart goes out to you, but the message is that I see a pregnancy happening very quickly. So don't give up, keep trying. Okay. All right, bottom of the deck, the page of swords. So we have a couple of pages in here. So we, you could be dealing with study, learning, new information, communication, new ideas paperwork contracts documentation so let's see in the current situation you have the hangman something feels stuck and it could be because you have too many choices too many options you don't know which way to go you could do this you could do that recently or not so recently because it's a major account card you have the death card here so something big came to an end a big cycle in your life came to an end this could have been a divorce because you also have the justice card in the foundation your lessons had been learned in that situation that's why it came to an end the pattern was done the lessons were, were done so the pattern was broken okay you you paid off karma you paid off debt that could be literal or not um this could be divorce this could be breaking off a friendship that you had for a lifetime. This could be where you quit your job, walked away from one, went towards another. Where you walked away from an industry altogether. You walked away from a career altogether. You moved, okay? Or you told people, that's it, I'm selling the house. You sold the house. Um, whatever it is, it was a very big cycle that wrapped up for you. That was part of your karma, your lessons. It was the right thing to do. I also hear that. But again, lessons had been learned, karma had been paid, your time was done there, okay? Whatever the reason was that you were supposed to be there for as long as you were, it was done. You, you did it, you graduated, happy days. All right, so we wrapped something up. It's big, like life changing. Nothing is the same, all right? And so I feel like you're at this point where you're like, okay, now what? Because it's almost like everything is new everything is unfamiliar you don't really know which way to go you don't really know what you want to do next all you know is you were done with that thing that you left in the past but it's like i don't know i don't know what is new, the new for me so i feel like that's where you are currently you're trying to figure out you could be trying things trialing things um imagining yourself doing one thing or another with the hangman seven of cups 
be having a lot of different dreams about a lot of different options but doesn't doesn't help necessarily right crowning you with the page of cups okay we're getting there um this is like the new thing you love okay that's what's on the mind i want to figure out what the new thing is for me that i'm gonna love that's going to fill my heart and my bank account okay or just fill my heart depending on which area of life this is that's your focus i could do this i could do that but what really makes me happy that could be your focus but also your advice you see it says new creative venture here when it comes to the meaning uh in money for example right but apply that as it does in your life i feel like for a lot of you you left something that was um traditional that was expected of you that you know that's how you were brought up it was part of your traditions it was part of your culture it was part of how you were brought up right your parents were doctors so you had to become a doctor because that's how you grew up and they prepared you for that and all that kind of stuff right and while you were doing that and going through the motions you learned a lot about yourself enough to know that that's not what you want to do that's not who you are okay maybe at some point it was it's not anymore and that's okay you grew you changed that's okay that's a good thing so now you're thinking, what do I want to do? What do I love to do? What are my particular skills, talents, hopes, and aspirations for myself? Okay. I feel like there is something out of these seven cups, you've got one in mind that shines brighter than the others. Okay. So let's look at this five of cups here. Give me one second. Sorry about that. Harvey needed something. All right, so with the Five of Cups in the near future here, there could be a, a moment of, you know when something doesn't come in fast enough, we start to question ourselves and ourselves and we start telling ourselves that I made a mistake, this is never gonna happen, This was, I wasn't supposed to do this in the first place, why the hell did I did, do this, why did I walk, walk away from that thing that was certain and it was sure and it was safe and whatever, put myself out there this way, nothing's happening, nothing's ever gonna happen, and we just, you know, lose ourselves in that cycle of self-doubt, which is not a fun place to be. Now, in how you see yourself, you have the Four of Wands. This is what you want. You want happiness, harmony, stability. And you know, you, you fill in the blanks. You want that relationship that can lead to marriage. You want a family, you want your own home. You want to share a home with someone. You want that job that you're so proud of. You want that promotion. You want your own business, a home-based business. And you see that you're fully capable of this. In your environment, here's a page of pentacles. So there is an offer coming in, okay? So what you envision, your ideal situation, is coming in in 3D. That's why it shows up as, pen as pentacles, okay? It's a very realistic, practical conversation about this thing that is your dream, okay? So stuff is getting real is basically what's happening in the next 10 days for your cancer so for some of you for example i'm getting a very specific message where you do something creative you draw you paint you sing okay something artistic i don't know okay this is where you imagine yourself on a stage. You imagine yourself, you envision yourself sell, selling your paintings everywhere. Everyone loves them. Everyone admires them. And that's what you're thinking. That's your ideal. That's your dream. What's coming in is someone saying, hey, I saw this and that. I've seen some of your paintings. I've seen your work or heard your work, whatever the case may be. Let's talk about a potential collaboration. Let's talk about you coming to do that for me to or let's talk about me representing you and this is where you get down to the nitty-gritty right you take that dream that was so out there and it was an ideal 
And all of a sudden, you're talking numbers, you're talking money, you're talking contracts, you're talking business plans. Right? That's what this is. So in your hopes and fears, you have temperance. So this is a lot of deliberating, negotiating, but it's also joining forces with someone. So this could be um, an advisor, right? It's not someone that has to go with you on the journey, but it's someone that helps you get started, right? They give you your knowledge, sorry, they give you their knowledge in exchange for you pay them for their time, whatever the case may be. This is an exchange happening here, right? Let's help each other out here. Uh, it's a mutually beneficial conversation or negotiation or whatever the case may be. And it's, you are joining forces with someone towards achieving this goal. Like I say, this could be just a, a down to earth. This is practical conversations and negotiations. Well, what if I did this? Would that work? Well, no, not really. You would have to do this amount of uh, this many hours. Okay, well, I could do that many hours. I would need this for that. Could that work? If you wanted me to do 100 paintings, I could do that in the amount of time you give me, but I need these the, these materials, I need this and that and that, I need help with this and that and that, right? Is, is the, again, the, getting the practical aspects in place. Um, yeah, and in the outcome here, you have the Ace of Wands. This is your new normal. This is now your new normal. The life you dreamed for yourself, you are now living or will be very, very shortly, okay? And like I say, with wands here, it's something that fills your heart and your bank account. It gives you drive, it's something that doesn't feel like work, it's something that doesn't feel like a job, it's something that doesn't feel like you have to do it. It's why you get up in the morning, it keeps you going, it energizes you. And for some of you, like I say, if your goals are to have a family with this in two pages, that is finding out you're pregnant or your partner's pregnant, okay? Especially if you've been trying for a while and it's not been happening. Or you've been trying and you've suffered losses. Okay, so let's see what this Five of Cups is, is in the near future. I can't talk. So you have the Ten of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so in the near future, what this is, is you're, you're questioning yourself, you're doubting yourself, because things are taking a long time to come together. And you're starting to question yourself, to doubt yourself. The Six of Pentacles, I put myself out there, no one's coming to meet me in the middle. No one's reaching back out to me. Okay, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. Why did I leave the familiar, the thing I had history with, the place I had history in? Okay. You're now starting to beat yourself up a little bit because with the new thing, you put yourself out there and no one's coming to meet you halfway. No one's reaching back out to you, right? But with the Five of Cups, remember, here's that partnership right behind you, okay? I Again, I feel like it's not going to come from the sources that you expect or it's not going to come, if it is coming from a source that you hope for, but it's, it's coming in a different way than what you expect. Which why which is why this I can't talk cancer which is why this is a five and you have a a, a change things are changing remember nothing is familiar so why do you have expectations on how things are going to come together remember everything is brand new and different so don't put expectations on how something's going to come together you don't know you literally don't know it's it's all different. All right, so just keep an open mind and just try to, as best as you can, roll with the punches, okay? Keep your mind focused on something constructive while you wait. Okay, if it's not coming together, instead of getting lost because you're thinking it should have happened by now, says who? You know, remember, everything is new for you, Cancer, in, the, in this situation or environment or phase of your life that you're in. Constantly remind yourself of that. I don't know anything, <laughs> okay? In this new environment, I don't know anything. So I just need to take it all in. Uh, if this isn't happening the way I kind of thought it should, okay, how does it happen in this environment? Do you know what I mean? If I can't do things the way I wanted to, or the way I'm used to, or the way I thought things should be done, let me just take a step back, okay, the hangman, observe how are things done in this environment? 
Okay, what else can I try? But keep yourself focused on what else can I try? What else can I do? How else can I approach this? Okay, as opposed to getting lost because your expectations are not being met because you shouldn't be having expectations. You don't know enough about the new situation, the new environment to have expectations of it. Do you know what I mean? You're still learning how things work. You're still learning what's available. You're still learning what's possible. So don't close yourself off. Okay, so this Ace of Wands in the outcome. Yeah, look, the Fool, the Knight of Cups. You're going from the Page of the Knight and the Emperor. Beautiful. Under the Page of Swords, you have the Knight of Swords. Things are going to be happening very, very quickly. After you have some sort of a realization, Page of Swords. Okay, some sort of a sobering up type realization. And you have three pages. You definitely have new things coming. You definitely have new things coming, but don't block yourself by expecting anything. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new environment. You don't know anything. That could be exciting, right? There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to do. Anything is possible, remember, okay? When we don't have expectations, anything is possible in any way. So with the Ace of Wands, you have the Fool, which follows this Death Card energy. Okay, so not only do you figure out where you want to go, where you want to go, what you want to do, it's happening. It, it becomes your reality. The Knight of Cups and the Emperor, for some of you definitely seeing parenthood happening here. For those of you, this is new, um, a new person when it comes to your love life, a new person coming in and they've got their stuff together, let me tell you. They are someone you can build a house home you can build a house if you want build a home with build a family with build a future with they are someone if it's in business they are someone who's reliable they have a lot of experience they have the know-how they have the money the resources the contacts okay you can what you bring to the table they bring the exact amount to the table as well okay and it's a perfect blend with that temperance energy it's what you were hoping for knight of cups you go from the page to the night from thinking about it to action being taken you're living it Okay. This could also be your energy where you're like, okay, this is a whole new level. I'm in a very stable position. I call the shots. Okay. It's a new level, a very mature type level, a very stable type level. A lot of success is going to come to you with whatever it is that you're trying to achieve cancer. Okay. So that is what I have for you. Let me know how it makes sense to you if it does. Let me know in the comments below. But I really, really hope the reading helps you, okay? Remember to watch your other placements. Have a great time ahead. Make the most of this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.